We're here at Don't Ever Bank Care Field in Cracksome Skull, Florida. Come here for the retirement. Stay here for the drive through funeral services. Getting buried has never been so quick and easy. I wouldn't mind taking a dirt nap here. Although my dream for years has been to be soaked in rum, then thrown into a volcano. <laughs> I like the idea of going out with a bang. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Cracksome Skull Jugulars. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on NFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toe trap to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo? Stick your head in the toe trap. That'll warm you up. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Ah, oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Run for five yards. <laughs> Third down and five. <laughs> and the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the other half. <laughs> that, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Perfect pass and a score! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You missed two foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring.
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two. What is this, 80s wrestling? Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. The defense called it a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, but it keeps coming back to him. Third down and, well, good luck. It was a risky throw and the defense made him pay. He'll have to, oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And it's first and 10. Pass play nets them seven yards. Oh no, I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he look his original or extra crispy? <laughs> At the risk of sounding like a 90s video game, he's on fire! Yeah, he must have just eaten some of those big ways they serve on the concourse. Don't blow your ass apart. And the Cigar. And it's first and ten. Roid range. How do you like your range? Scrambled or front. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's with the boom to the moon. Another loser fights the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy, and that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. First and four. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down.
You don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. No, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and seven. And that's another turnover for the defense. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got you. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First and ten. And a different. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Fighting for every yard. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up down the Oh my god, a man from prison just came out of the field! That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. First and eight to go. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bet. Second down and seven. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. My pal with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the city. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him.
And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And another interception. This quarterback, ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't almost throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when they go. Boom! And it's first and ten. At this rate, the oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned this guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. And the defense gets another. Man, run. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs>
When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And it's first and ten. He's running out of gas now. A touchdown saving tackle. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up second and one. The receiver's open, so the QB just threw the ball away. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Third down and, well, good luck. And another interception. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and 10. Totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? First and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. This is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Now that's their red penalty marker, Bricks. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> the 
The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. I don't know if we can have it. This city should apparently be named Cracker Skull because the jugulars are just about all gone. They have to forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhar Corporation. They get it right every up.